welcome back to another Meet the Team video. Today we have Josh. Josh, thank you so much for doing this interview. We're really looking forward to speaking with you. Um, do you want to just give a bit of an introduction to who you are and your role at CIS? Yeah, of course. So my name is Josh Miles. I am a systems engineer for CIS. I've been here for around four years now. I've just gone past the four year mark. Um, and I mainly work on the um, ticket on the help desk, um, dealing with clients um, and obviously quite a bit of in-house things as well. So you say you're, you deal with tickets and stuff. Do you want to go into a bit more detail about what you kind of do on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, you get your basic tickets come in, printer's not working or password's not working. Um, but it's quite often as well that we get given um, some project work as well um so a few months ago we had uh, we took on a new client and i was tasked with the project to set up their office 365 um tenant um so i went on and done that created the tenant created the users um purchased all the licenses for them and assigned them to correct users um and they also also had uh, sharepoint as well that wanted to be um that they wanted added in so i migrated all of their data from their servers Mm -hmm. and I put their data on SharePoint, um, tested it all, everything works fine, workflow fine, mail flow fine, and then went on site to deliver the um, the package. It's quite hands-on, it sounds like, what you're doing as an engineer then. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, with, with the, the hands-on kind of thing, um, you got your own clients as an engineer, so um, I've got a couple myself. Um, we do actually do housekeeping visits as well, so we go on site, um, and we have a sheet to fill out, have a sheet to fill out, sorry. And what, on that sheet, you fill out the status of the servers, um, the storage, uh, kind of end of life details, warranty details, and you do that kind of every quarterly. Mm. Um, so you've got, you got to keep on top of that. So if anyone wants to take over the site, they've got all the details there ready. So they're, they're well aware of what's going on. Although I'm guessing at the moment, you're not able to do those kind of housekeeping things. So are, are you still doing those remotely or...? Yeah, so um, with the current situation, we are doing that kind of, we're doing the housekeeping remotely. So um, if the client needs any help, they just have to call into the help desk and ask to speak to me because um, I'll be the one dealing with their issues on that day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, at the moment, housekeeping is conducted remotely. Yeah. And what do you kind of personally most enjoy about being an engineer? Um, so I do like getting stuck in to the jobs. Um, mainly I like going out on site and visiting the customer face to face. I feel kind of that's like a more of a um, professional approach. Mm. Um, going out, speaking to them. Um, I like being involved in account management meetings as well. So um, with, with one of my clients, they will also have their designated account manager. Um, and I would just like to be able to sit in on that meeting to have some sort of knowledge of what, of what they've got planned going forward. So I know. Yeah, absolutely. And so you say you've been with CIS for four years now as a systems engineer, as an engineer, you started off as a junior engineer, I think you said. Um, that's that's um, correct. What, what, where were you before that? Were you always interested in IT? Where did that interest kind of come from? Yeah, so I mean, all through school, I was interested in IT. Um, it actually originated from one of my family members. Um, I just got very interested in what he was doing one day and wanted to take it on. Um, so I went on to do that as a GCSE, um, I passed that with flying colours and then went on to college um, and then I studied it in college, I was, uh, I was in college for about four years, um, uh, went through college, got, got, my, um, got my levels in there that I needed and then I uh, got a job as, well I got an apprenticeship at school um and that was very basic that was kind of replacing toners changing students passwords it was nothing too in depth um i was shown the server room the odd few times but again nothing too serious um and then one of the colleague one of my colleagues i actually work with now um david who you interviewed last week he actually got the word out that cis were hiring so i thought okay i'll um send in my cv see what happens and then um the director matt grantham got back to me and said yeah we'd like to interview you so uh, that was a good good start <laughs> yeah and here we are <laughs> exactly here we are four years later and over those four years what have you like, most enjoyed about being I, I assume you've enjoyed <laughs> being at CIS <laughs> yeah of course I have I'm still here <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you enjoy most about working with them I mean the, the atmosphere in the office it's it's great it's incredible um 
we all we all have a laugh, a joke. Of course, it's got to be professional, um, but it also it makes the it kind of makes the time at the office. It, it helps. It helps along the way because obviously it's very stressful with some of the jobs we're doing. Okay. Some of the tickets that come in um, gets very very stressful. So being able to have a laugh and a joke, and go go in the kitchen and have a laugh with one of your one of your colleagues, it's it's a good stress relief. Yeah. And have you got any kind of things you've achieved or personal highlights since you've been with the company? Yeah, so I uh, started the company as a junior engineer. Um, so again, we, I was an apprentice, started on a junior. And about a year and a half later, two years down the line, um, Matt decided to promote me to a systems engineer. So I feel like at the moment, that's one of my greatest achievements at CIS, being able to go up from junior to systems engineer. Um, then eventually, I mean, I would like to progress to a senior engineer and then I would like to do consultancy work for the company as well. Oh, cool. And um, obviously things are really, really different at the moment. We, we've touched on it, on it briefly with the like, remote working situation, but how, how do you personally feel about it? How, how are you finding it at home? Do you think you were prepared for all this? Uh, yeah, we were prepared for it. Um, we'd done two or three trial runs before we was actually told to work from home. So we'd done two or three days, uh, I think it was a Wednesday, Thursday and a Friday, um, where Neil said, right, we want you to all work from home um, to test trial, it, uh, test trial it, do like a disaster recovery point of view. Um, and I find that I found that it worked quite well. Mm. Uh, I've not had no issues really working from home. Mm. The only thing is, is just being stuck in the bedroom. <laughs> but, <laughs> you can roll out of bed straight to work it's a luxury <laughs> oh, exactly exactly roll, roll out of bed go to work roll back in bed straight after you shift <laughs> oh amazing well I think that's um, all the questions I've got for you today but thank you so much for chatting to us I really appreciate it and thank you everyone else who's watched and we look forward to doing another one soon thank you thank goodbye you. cheers bye bye <laughs>